what's up you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you for entering into naturally jaja's world today as you read in the title my bantu night out was a fail and i had to turn it into a puff if you're interested in how this happened just keep on watching So we are starting off with freshly washed hair. I washed my hair, conditioned it, deep conditioned and did leave in conditioner. So now my hair is sectioned off into eight sections and I think what I'm going to do is in each section, so each twist, one twist, is going to turn into two twists and then turned into a bantu knot. Um, I shouldn't give numbers because I always add more, but I think that's going to be the goal for this style. Um, so each twist will be two twists. So I would have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen Bantu knots over my head. The front may turn into three. I'm not sure yet, but we will see at the end of the video. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. So the products I'm using today are... The Cream of Nature Pure Honey Curl Activator. Um, this typically is my go-to cream um, and styler. And to set the hair, I'm going to be using one pump of this curly mousse, also by Cream of Nature Pure Honey line. The hair is already wet, but I'm just going to wet the ends. So I'm taking a dime size amount of the cream. And one pump of the mousse. I'm also going to take this wet brush from um, Curl Days just to smooth out the hair, just to make sure it's fully detangled. Um, when I do my twist, I want to make sure that every tangle is out. Um, I don't know if you guys notice when I take out my hair, I'm always pulling it at the ends and I don't want to do that this time. So I'm just going to go ahead and two strand twist all the way down. So that is my twist. I'm going to actually twist the whole head first, then I'm going to go back and bantu knot just so it could dry a little. If you um, are familiar with bantu knots, they can take forever to dry. So I'm going to actually do my twist and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the, the method for bantu knotting with two strand twist. Okay, so now I put in all my twists, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping them into the bantu knot. First, you kind of make a knot. You see, a knot forms, and then you just twist around, basically going under the knot that you created to form the band two. And you make sure you tuck your ends under so it doesn't go anywhere. So again. Twist it a little bit, not too much because you don't want too much tension on the roots. Create your knot and wrap around, around and under. And 
make sure it is secure. And again, twist. So twist about two times. Create your knot. And wrap underneath. Last two. Create your knot. And if it's a little tight, you can like corkscrew it and reverse it just a little bit, just so you don't have too much. You don't want too much pulling because you want you want to keep your edges. You don't want to lose your edges or lose your hair. So I think I'm gonna actually reverse that just a little more, and then just kind of tuck it under. It should stay. See, pretty much stays in place. Um, if not, then you can secure with a bobby pin. So I'm just gonna leave that one like that. Hopefully it'll stick, but I feel a lot of tension right here, and I don't, I don't want to lose my edges. I work hard for these babies. And I'm all set. I think I'm going to actually do what I did. So for this one, I'm going to just create the knot and wrap. So I'm going to let them stay in for about two nights. So I'm going to sleep in them tonight and I'm going to take them out the night after. And I'm going to also sit under the dryer for about maybe an hour. Um, it is dry, but I just want to make sure that it's dry 100%. Bantu knots are very tricky. You may think they're dry and in the inside where you wrapped around, it may not be dry. So... But it's in the dryer, let it air dry. Um, I don't have anywhere to go, so I can wear these in the house. And if I do have somewhere to go, I can wear them outside, it could look decent enough. Or I could put on like a hat or a wrap or something. But here's the back. So pretty much it's flat enough for me to sleep on, so I shouldn't have any issues with that. And I don't sleep on my back anyway, so that's fine. Um, but other than that, I don't feel it too tight, not too much tension, and I should be ready to go the following morning. So we will be back and see how the takedown process is. All right, catch you guys later. So here we are two days later, and now it is time for the takedown process. When I take down my hair, I always go for the cream of nature, pure honey, shine mist, and it is an oil. just spray it on my fingers rub it in and I'm going to like corkscrew in the opposite direction or like you're taking on a bottle cap and then just let it fall down just like that so I'm gonna do that all around So they've all been taken down, so I'm going to put more oil on my fingers and then just unravel the two strong twists like I would normally do.
like the way it looks like I don't know what happened I don't know if I'm taking it down wrong it's just nothing everything's gone every twist every curl every everything is gone so uh yeah <sighs> I, I think I'm gonna give up on bantu knots because nothing is working for me I can't, I feel like I can't even like fix it. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Maybe I'm taking it out wrong. I don't know. See, look, even when I take it out, just blah, nothing. <clears throat> So, I hate to say I'm going to quit, but um, I'm going to stick to <laughs> twists for a while until I get the confidence <laughs> to uh, go back to bantu nuts. But, um, yeah, no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I can't even fix this. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. So I had to figure out how I'm going to fix it and make it look decent. But yeah, this is where we are. I guess it's fail. <laughs> but I'm gonna go see how I can fix it and I'll be back with the final final hairstyle. Okay. 
So when in doubt, puff it out. And that's exactly what I did. I just put it in a high puff and let it rock for today. <sighs> I'm a little sad. <laughs> I don't know where I went wrong, but I'll figure it out later. So if you like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment. Maybe you can tell me what I did wrong. Did I rush to take it out? Um, should I have just twisted instead of doing two strand twist in a bantu knot? I don't know. You guys can leave your opinions down in the comment section. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.